$10,000 a month. I know it was like the big thing for like a year or two, but it's not anything anymore. My name is Scott Gleason Camp. My businesses are doing $50,000 a month at the age of 19. And I want to share with you why $10,000 a month is a is not a great goal, right? And obviously, if you're in position to aim for that, maybe you're at $0 a month, maybe you're at $1,000 a month, $2,000, $3,000, 4000 whatever. Yeah, you can still aim for that 10 k but I want to make it clear that that $10,000 a month is still poverty. It's still not going to get you your dream life. It, it's just the reality of the world. You know, it's expensive to live out here. Guys, I just got a bill for $2,500 from the fucking hospital. I was in the ER for three hours, had a couple lab tests done. I mean, the world is just expensive. You have to have a car, you gotta have a fucking house, you gotta pay for miscellaneous stuff, you wanna go have fun, you wanna go shopping, you wanna take care of other people. I mean, $10,000 a month, as bad, as detached as it sounds, it is not getting you far. So set your goals higher, that's all I'm saying. Set your goals to $100,000 a month, $200,000 a month. I'm not saying you can't have those micro goals because you definitely should, but don't feel satisfied once you get there because there's always another mountain to climb. When I hit my first $10,000 a month in profit, I was like, damn, this is all possible. Like this is a really, really good feeling, but I realized how little money I have. That's the thing. They glorify it online. They say, oh, $10,000 a month will solve your life. Bro, you can't get rent. You can't pay for a car. You can't pay for food with that. I mean, like you don't, you barely are scraping by. That's all I'm saying in the United States. If you live in Pakistan, you're chilling. If you live in India, you're chilling, bro. But if you're in the United States or another first world country watching this, I'm gonna be honest, you need to make more, especially if you wanna buy a Lambo or a nice house or a penthouse or just have a bunch of extra exorbitant stuff. So stop thinking so small. Once you stop thinking so small, it actually gets easier to make money. When I was thinking like, how can I make like two, three extra grand a month? Guess how I was thinking about doing it? I was thinking about doing it by mowing lawns and I did go mow lawns and make two, three grand a month. You know, I was doing lawns every day in high school and I was doing landscaping, I was doing a ton of stuff, I was doing DoorDash, and that made me a little bit of money, right? But that's what I was aiming for, so I hit that, and I found ways to hit that. But if you're only aiming for $10,000 a month, you're going to do things that can only make you $10,000 a month. So say maybe you're actually aiming for $50,000 a month, you're gonna have to do things differently. You can't mow lawns and make $50,000 a month in your pocket. Like it's gonna be very, very difficult, I should say. So maybe to make $50,000 a month, maybe you have to use some form of leveraged e-commerce, like I do. I do Amazon private label, I won't talk about it a whole lot, but basically we own our own brands on Amazon. Amazon handles all the fulfillment, customer service, returns, everything like that and we just keep launching brands and we get to build equity and have high, high leverage and margins. But to get to $50,000 a month, I have to have a different path than if I was trying to get to $10,000 a month. So if you're only aiming for that 10, you're only gonna be able to get to 10. I'm just gonna be honest, there's certain things that you can do at certain levels that won't get you to the next level. And I'm not discouraging you from going and starting a business that can get you to $10,000 a month because everything is start and they all build. Because likely what you're gonna do, and this is what I did, this is what everybody does, is they start some sort of business that can get them to like 10K a month. They get there, they're like, okay, this is cool, but I need more money. And then they start something that can get them to 50K a month. And then you're like, okay, this is cool, but I need more money, so I'm gonna try a different thing. And then I'm just increasing my leverage as I go, as I make more money, as my skills are better as an entrepreneur. So it's all a game. You know, it's all a journey. So don't get discouraged, feel like you have to make 50K a month or 100K a month or 200K a month tomorrow, because you're not. So you're gonna just have to take it step by step, take it 5K a month, then 10K a month, then 15, and then take it to 25, and then take it to 50, and then you're just gonna keep ramping up, and you're by the time you're at a high, high level of income, you're gonna learn exactly how to do it, and you're gonna be making tons of money, and you're gonna be very educated. But please, 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 for those of you, I'm sure I have older people who watch me, and I'm sure I have younger people as well, but please do not think $10,000 a month is a lot of money at all. You literally will be struggling on $10,000 a month. I live in Ohio and you can struggle on $10,000 a month. So think if you live in Cali. If you live in Cali where it rents 3K a month and then you have 50% of your money to taxes. I forgot to talk about taxes. 
Oh, even worse. Okay, so say you live in California. 50% of your money is gone to taxes automatically, basically, maybe 40, 50%, whatever. So let's say you have, for the sake of numbers, you do 10K a month and then you have 5K left to spend. Okay, so two and a half to 3K is spent on rent. That's automatically gone every month, no matter what. So you have 2K left. What do you do? Okay, you have a car bill that's probably at least $500 a month, and then you have insurance for that, you have gas, you have maintenance you have to save for, you also have to eat food, you also have to pay utilities, you also have you know, random things that pop up, you also have to invest. I mean, there's no money left. So 10K a month, obviously depends where you are, but it doesn't get you far. After taxes, after you invest, I mean like you need to be saving tons of money guys in this environment. And don't get me wrong, you can't just have a high income and spend it all, but you also can't have an income problem nowadays because of how expensive things are. So I recommend you, you know, when you start making money with your business, or maybe you already are, continue to invest in better business practice, keep optimizing systems, keep reinvesting your money, trying to build a business, you know, pay yourself what you need, live humbly, until you really, really can afford to do nicer things. And that's the boring answer, but that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm not, I mean, I'm transparently, I'm very transparent on this channel. Like I'm not paying myself a whole lot. Like I'm not paying myself damn near anything like other than what I need to survive monthly just because I'm really, really caring for the future of my businesses. Because I understand I'm in a business, I'm in e-commerce. I understand that the amount of money I have matters and the amount of cash flow I have available does matter because if I have $100,000 a month to invest in businesses, then I can go launch X amount of brands. But if I only have 1K a month, I can only launch zero brands. So the more brands I can launch and the more I can invest, the more I can build my income and diversify. This was just my two cents, just because I've realized today, it's like fucking expensive to live out here, guys. So make sure you guys go make a ton of money so you can take care of the people you love. But make sure to go to the free course down below, guys. It's completely free. First link down below. But anyways, guys, make sure to subscribe. My name is Scott Gleason Camp, and I'll see you in the next video.